Hello, today we're going to solve another integral involving the floor function. So of course I really like them because they force you to think outside of the box a little bit. And uh, if, you, if you've never seen one of these before, you're in for a treat. So let's see how we get started. Basically, we're going to substitute in log base 2 of x immediately. So we have log base 2 of x is equal to u. Now, uh, to get our dx, we're first going to just transform this um, log base 2 of x into the natural logarithm. Of course, we have du is equal to 1 over x times log of 2 dx. Now, we can't just substitute in uh, 1 over x uh, times the log of 2. We have to kind of convert this so all of the x's are gone. So how are we going to do that? Basically, from this definition over here, we can immediately see that x um, has to be equal to 2 to the power of u just by exponentiating both sides of the equation or using the definition of a logarithm. So by doing that, we can see that dx has to equal, let's see, 2 to the power of u times log of 2 du. Okay, and we've now got everything set up for this substitution. Uh, so what are we going to get for the bounds? Now, this is kind of difficult because, of course, log of 0 is not defined. So we have to take a limit, and that's going to give us minus infinity. And then log of 1 is equal to 0, and we have 2 to the power of this floor function of our u times 2 to the power of u, just not in a floor function, and times log of 2 du. So first of all, we can take out the constant. And second of all, basically, we've now got a really clean way of writing our floor, floor function. Every part of the floor function is just u. So we're going to be able to split our integral up into nice parts. So we have log of 2 times uh, our integral split up into an infinite amount of parts. So we're going to have an integral from minus 1 up to 0 of 2 to the power of the floor of u plus u du. And I'll write out a couple more integrals so you can see what we're going to do here. So we're also going to have one from minus 2 up to minus 1 and so on and so forth. So this is what we're going to have in general. Of course, we should take a limit, but uh, we'll just deal with that in a moment since uh, we're just going to convert this quickly. But what is the nice thing we can notice in this case? Basically, I split this integral up into um, an infinite amount of intervals, which actually confine the floor function into something really simple. So anywhere from minus 1 to 0, well, not including 0, but anywhere um, except for zero on that interval, we're going to have the same answer for the floor function, which is minus one. So basically, on each of these intervals, there's only one answer for the floor of u. And by doing that, we can just get rid of the floor function and reduce each of these integrals to a much simpler one. So we're going to have minus one in this case, right? Since anywhere on that interval, floor of u is just equal to minus one. We're going to have minus two on this interval and minus n minus one on this interval. Now I'm going to change the notation slightly. So I'm going to have log of two times our, of course, summation sign from n equals zero up to infinity. So here is where the limit part comes in of our integral from minus one minus n uh, to minus n of 2 to the power of minus n minus 1 plus u du. So now we have the log of 2 times our sum from n equals 0 up to infinity of 2 to the power of minus n minus 1 times our integral from minus n minus 1 to minus n of 2 to the power of u du. Now our integral is really quite simple, so we just have log of 2 times our sum from n equals 0 up to infinity of 2 to the power of minus n minus 1 times, let's see, 2 to the power of u divided by log of 2, evaluated from minus n minus 1 to minus n. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this log of 2 and this log of 2, and we're just going to get our sum and our simple evaluation of 2 to the power of u. And this is, of course, going to give us, let's see, let's get some brackets, 2 to the power of minus n minus 2 to the power of minus n minus 1. And now we're going to split this sum up into two different sums, which is going to be, uh, let's see, the sum from n equals 0 up to infinity of 2 to the power of minus 2n minus 1 minus our sum 
from n equals 0 up to infinity of 2 to the power of minus 2 and minus 2. Now notice that of course these powers uh, to the minus first power and minus second power those are just constant terms of 2 to the power of minus 2 and 2 to the power of minus 1 which are of course uh, 1 over 4 and 1 over 2 respectively. So we can take those out and we're going to get 1 over 2 in front here and 1 over 4 over here. Of course getting rid of that. Now notice that of course these two sums are the exact same and so we can just subtract a fourth from a half and we're going to get a fourth times our sum. Now looking closely at this sum we can see that it's 2 to the power of minus 2 to the power of n which is going to give us 1 over 4 to the power of n. And this is a basic geometric series known very well, or if you were to take our formula for 1 over 1 minus x, that's equal to our sum from n equals 0 of x to the power of n for x's uh, or the absolute value of x smaller than 1, and of course 1 fourth is smaller than 1. Um, so we can use that immediately, and we're going to get uh, 1 over 4 times our 1 over 1 minus x, which in this case is going to give us 4 thirds. And of course, just cancelling our fours, we have a third. So I hope you like this um, this exercise. I thought it was pretty nice, uh, of course, uh, converting our integral into a sum, as almost always with these floor functions in integrals. And uh, maybe a quick exercise uh, is to see whether or not you could figure out a formula for an integral from 0 to 1 of let's say a to the power of the floor of log base a um, of x and of course dx. Uh, since it's not actually too hard, you can predict it from this result uh, pretty easily. Um, so it's a nice result. Uh, take a guess at what it might be and uh, check the result for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Till next time, I hope you enjoyed this.